FOS TV is brought to you by the Lion's Den. The den always has been and always will be about enjoying family and friends in an environment steeped in Happy Valley tradition. So come back to the den, the perfect place to recall old memories while creating new ones. What's up? Say <laughs> right. What's up, baby? <laughs> I see you brought my friend with you today. Give it up, boy. Bring your dog in today. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, we, we, we both going to be depending on him. It's always, uh, it's always good. It's always fun to get back and see the guys that you just witnessed here yeah. just a few minutes ago. Tell a bunch of lies, a bunch of stories. Uh, you know, uh, we, we, we like to tend to... to uh, uh, embellish as Bill Contz would say, <laughs> stories uh, to where they become legendary. The stories get uh, get bigger, the plays, the hits get bigger, the yardage gets longer. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can't beat it, right? I think most of the guys here feel the same as I do, that we have something that's really unique in the fact that because of Coach Paterno still being here and yeah. sort of the, the level of um, unity, the level of consistency that's been here, not only for the head guy, but all the way down to the ticket office, the managers or the people that have worked throughout the university and it's been something that I think we're proud of. We're the only <laughs> we're the only uh, school we could say that. I mean it's just something we're proud of and something that's great to be back and see everyone. You were successful college, the pros and as a business person. How much of that stems back to what you learned from Joe and what you learned at Penn State just to you know well, going I, to school? I, think, I don't think that I think the two are pretty you know are, are very similar. Yeah. I mean because the college experience is one thing. Hey, 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 see right, did you guys see I'm interviewing over here? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just, uh, hey, Blum, you know you can't take us anywhere, man. You can't take us anywhere. Blum, you know that. Okay. I know you want to eat. I got it. Yeah. No, boy, you know oh, you want to eat. Oh, man. Get out of here. Bye. Get, We're, get the camera back over here. Get the camera back over here. You did the right thing, too. Uh, you're not right at all. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right at all, man. Give me the, the one thing over there. What do they give me? They give me the watermelon. They give me the watermelon. Now, come on, man. We got my own people. For my own people. Oh my God. Own people. You gonna treat me like that? Come on, man. Get out of here. Yeah, I know you do. You see that, man? You see all the uh, the foods and condiments over there? I get the watermelon. Get the watermelon. <laughs> Anyway. That was funny, but you were talking about uh, the college I experience. That. See, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. You don't, you don't just walk up and hand the guy that if you don't you don't know him and you haven't spent some time with him. So that that kind of gives you, you the flavor of what we've all had an opportunity to uh, to experience, and and through those experiences, we've been able to develop you know uh, uh, lasting friendships. So that's what we're able to do. That. Now you guys were all at the top of your game as football players. What's it going to be like out on the golf course today? Could it be dangerous no, for yeah, viewers? Yeah, it could be or? dangerous for anyone and everyone who may be out there on the course. There, you'll hear a lot of the, you know, four and stuff like that out there, but, uh, you know, keep your head on a swivel. It's almost kind of like football practice, but, you know, golf ball's a little bit more forget. Fortunately, uh, I'm, I'm playing with Fitzky and Sui, and okay. it, those two guys said they carried me throughout my career at Penn State, so they're going to try to carry me too, I hope again. <laughs> you guys were at the ultimate peak of college football athletically. Mm -hmm. This is a little different. You're going on the golf course. What's it going to be like? Could it be a little bit dangerous for people, fans, even the <laughs> athletes themselves? What's it going to be like today? That's going to be fun. Driver. Actually, in reality, most of these guys are golfers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, these guys can play some golf. So, uh, but it'll be fun, guys. It's all fun. We'll be keeping an eye on you out there. Thanks, yeah. guys. Appreciate it. State. Justin, what's up? You'll never be Phil Gross. Oh no! <laughs> He's obviously senile. What? What does it mean to you to win worst drive, Justin? Oh, I'm I did it on purpose. <laughs> I needed a visor. <laughs> Turn. Turn. Look like Dave. Oh, a little outside of that. I'm shooting uh, uh, my age on the first three holes, so <laughs> when is that? Do the math. Seven. Yeah, nine and a half, <laughs> nine and a half strokes per hole. <laughs> the beer's cold though. Hmm. 
It was nice to see Joe Paterno could make it out today. Joe, how are things going on the course? No comment? My stepson, uh -huh. Ryan Pinkman. He does Joe as well as anyone you will ever listen to. Okay. And so whenever we get together, I mean, he was a walk-on. He played five years, the whole nine yards. He still does the stuff that Joe did even when I was here. Oh, really? It's the same, same stuff. We're in search of Ryan Pickney, but it's taken us off-road. I'm going to cut over that way. Whatever you do, stay out of the lake. So I'm here with Pat Bull, and he's driving. Whoa! And we're going to run it. Yeah, you're too close to the water here, man. Our sources tell us that Ryan has the best Joe Paterno imitation. We, we got it here. What would Joe say if he were at this golf tournament. Can you come up with something? Sure, he'd say, you guys can't play golf at all. All I say that you're good at, your womanizers and boozers. That's all you, <laughs> now get out of here. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Can you talk about what it means to you to come back for an event like this? Oh yeah, it's great. Um, I like to come back and you know, you get to see everybody that you played with and then you get to see the old guys who you really never um, got a chance to meet until now and yeah. play golf with them. and. Uh, I tell you, it's a great outing. I like coming back. This is my third year coming back, and uh, I, I love coming back here. It's good to see everybody. Get cornhole! Nice. Get back for you. So you're saying he looks like Charles Barkley. Okay. And not Charles Barkley on the basketball court. No. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley on the golf. Everybody knows Sir Charles on the golf court. Here you go. Number one, not today. <laughs> his stroke is much smoother than Charles' stroke. Thank you. And B, <laughs> he B. hit a beautiful shot in the woods. <laughs> that just sounded good, didn't it? Mm -hmm. That did sound good. And it looks good, too. It's just great to see all the guys you played ball with, because they're the guys that you become closest to more than any other yeah. fellas in your lifetime, you know. And uh, it's great to see them again. You know, the Letterman's Club just, you know, top of the line. Everything is the best. You know, they treat you the best, and uh, I won't miss it for the world. I will tell you guys this, and I really mean this with all sincerity. To be part of the football program is a great thing because there's a, there's a real bond that you share. But just being part of a Penn State guy, is, is, is a greater bond as well. So for me, just to see all the guys, whether I played with them or I didn't play with them, you feel a sense of, um, you know, uh, love and connection with those guys that I, you don't feel with, with everybody else.